Hello and welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwane. It's still an action-packed, money-spinning, exciting, engaging, interesting world of sports. What are you talking about this morning on the program? Guys are on fire with the Yaya Turi and Pep Guardiola saga. This evening, we want to let you be part of the program again. Whatever you are talking about, you're interested in us, but we want you to be part of the show. Talk to us. Let's get the conversation going tonight on the program. There's so much to talk about. On the menu tonight, there is rowing and canoeing. We told you that that sport shouldn't go to sleep in Nigeria after Chierica put up a good performance at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Also on the menu tonight, rugby, there's table tennis, there's football in Nigeria, rescheduled games in Nigeria, professional football league will get us talking, fans of Aimba Football Club of Aba, what's going on with the people's elephants because it didn't go well to them uh, good for them today, we'll also talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria talking about our qualifiers for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia we'll continue the discussion on Yaya Toure and Pep Guardiola and of course so much going down. We we'll get you ready now for the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. It's an action pack. So, the sports. Well, how can we do this program without you being involved? Let's bring you into all of what that we'll be doing tonight on the program. I keep telling you, don't just watch this show. Come, let us play for the love of the game on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports, Facebook channels. I think sports. You can send us an email to sports this morning at channels tv.com. So much to talk about. Sports tonight at channels tv.com. I beg your pardon. Send us that email, sports tonight at channels tv.com. Let's get your opinion, your feedback right here on the program. Just to also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website, it's channels tv.com, and on YouTube for slash channels web. You can also download the channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your black. Barry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and even your Android phone can do the magic. Somebody is stuck in traffic. Another is on the go, and they're wondering, how am I going to be part of the phone tonight on Sports Tonight? Don't worry. Just download the app, m.channelstv.com. Download that app, and you'll be part of all that we're doing tonight on the program. We'll give you the world in the palm of your hands. This is a racy, pacey, action-packed all the sports. You can keep up with that pace right here at Channel Sports. Let me bring the guys who will be talking with us tonight on the program. These guys are thorough bread analysts. Toby Adekwaju is here tonight. Toby, good to have you on the show. Yeah, it is my pleasure, Austin. Mm, mm. Yeah. Particularly with the rescheduled games. Yeah. Toby will be talking to us as we guys are. Olali Shola also back on the program. Good to have you around, bro. Good evening, Austin. Mm. So happy to be back in the I studio know, and to build my <laughs> parlay. I know what we're talking about. <laughs> to dish out the people that's, that's, that's at the moment. <laughs> right there. Thanks so much. Olali Shola and Toby Adekwaju. And of course, with you, we'll be talking sports tonight on the program. Now, let's talk sports. We keep saying it. Table tennis, they have been busy even before the 2016 Rio Olympics. They got involved in a lot of programs and they're stopping at nothing. Hundreds, 100 of them packed. They will be competing uh, for 18 titles at the Made in Nigeria Table Tennis uh, Federation National Championships and is scheduled for November. Now, what's the essence? Senior, junior, cadet, para, and veteran table tennis players are expected to compete for the titles at stake at the championship. The Nigeria Table Tennis Federation have also announced that the singles and doubles events will be part of the tournament, while single events will be the major events in all categories. Just to let you know, if you're a fan of table tennis, keep down the date, November the 15th through the 19th. That's when this one runs. Ola Ale, Shola, let's talk about table tennis. This one game, we know it for its popularity. It has given reputation to sports in this country and the federation these are the ways these are the things they can do to keep us talking about the sport yes um the nigeria table tennis federation they found out that if they continue to bring out this kind of competition mm. it's helped them to churn out talents like haruna kodri like um shagun toriola right. funke oshinaike mm. edema kono of this world yeah. and Koli, mm. after that Musa. because if you don't expose young talent early enough it will be difficult for you to nurture them, to okay. start them. So mm. by exposing them early enough, it's, uh, it's good for the, for, for, for the ping pong in Nigeria. Mm. It's good for Nigeria because if you continue to shy away from early preparation, if you continue to shy away from discovering talent, we will not get there. Mm. The 2020 Olympics is right at the, at, at, at the corner. It's not far. If you, if you think it's four years, four years is just um, a little time. It will get, it will get to us very soon. Mm. So these are the programs you use to get new talent, and by maybe in the next future, we might get 
to the podium at the Olympics in table tennis events. I totally agree with you because yep. um, Shagun Torella, legend in his own right, getting yep. tired, yep. he's not getting younger. Yep. Olufunke Oshana Ikesha has also played a part. You took us way back by mentioning Yomi Bankole um, at Under Musa. Those are legends of table tennis in this country. And they gave the baton to these guys we're talking about now. This is the time for us to start nurturing new talent. Yeah, very, very important. And then um, kudos to, to the um, Tennis Foundation. They'll be very consistent in terms mm. of, you know, championship. They engage, you know, young ta talent, you know, into for them to de uh, discover new talent and then they give them a platform, you know, uh, to develop. It is very, very important. And develop. We've talked about how you need to develop. Mm. I mean, we've talked about this. Um, Shagun Torola have been around for a while. Who is taking you know, Shagun Torola place? We need to grow talent, and then we need to give them such platform for them to express the platform. I mean, this is very great, and I think you know uh, the guys that would challenge in this one will be excited. I mean, there's this other part where we see the veteran play. So the young guys will sit and watch the veteran play and learn mm. a lot of things from them. It gives you confidence, you know, you know, going forward in your future. I think this is great. But I just hope you know the tennis foundation will continue, you know, uh, with this kind of the river program. We'll send them, you know, churning, uh, churning out uh, for, uh, for a while now. I totally agree with you, particularly in a national competition as this, where you have the junior players, the guys from the cadet, the seniors, even the veterans, the para table tennis players are not also left out of this. So this is a very good one. Keep the date down, November the 15th through the 19th, we're going to be having the National Table Tennis Championship. Busy, busy sporting calendar. Get your boats ready. Let's row, row gently down the stream. We told you that canoeing and rowing, that's one sport that needs to, you know, keep getting better, particularly what we saw at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Now, the Nigeria Rowing Can Canoeing and Sailing Federation, they have revealed that the sport will be making its debut at the forthcoming National Youth Games in Ilorin Kwara State. Mm. Toby, we don't really talk about this, yeah. but we know the sport exists. Until Chirika Okogu went yep. to the Olympics, yep. did big things, went to the, got to the semis, and it's time for us to start looking at ways we can develop the sport. I mean, uh, amazing, Austin, um, for the fact that you know, we are a country that we have a lot of water to, to, to you know, um, grow talent in That's this right. sport. I mean, we, we don't have excuse if, if you can't train people, if you can't train athletes, mm. you know, uh, to partake in, so, in such tournament, in such, you know, event. And this is brilliant to see this coming up in Quara, um, in few days' time. That's right. Like you said also, before the Olympics, we never knew. Um, such activities could take place in Nigeria, but we knew we had the, we had the facilities. That's I right. mean, if you have water, you, you get the rowing stuff, and then you get you know athletes yeah, engaging in it. I mean, getting yeah. a boat to, to do it is, is something very easy. Mm. So, I mean, it, it is very very great. So this is also what makes you to engage you know talent, you know engage youth you know into a different sport. They get engaged and then they get to nurture the talent, and then you can see like like you said also four years. Um, to the next Olympic is just around the corner. And then this is the only this is the only way we can develop talent and prepare, mm. you know, athletes for the next Olympics. This is great, and I, I think this is fantastic. Very great, and of course, Olale Shola, about 18 medals were up for grabs at the Olympics. Just imagine if this is a sport that we can really do. Well. We could get one, two, three of those medals. It, it, it's it's a let me tell you something. The feat of uh, Chikagara Ukegu has opened hmm. our eyes into that sport. That's right. Because before, only you see Nigerian competing in such sports. But unfortunately, as a nation, we have the facilities, as Toby rightly said. Niger Delta, as a region, comprises a lot of waters, mm. inland waters. Mm. Now, there are kids that are born in this region. That's right. They are born inside water. Mm. Naturally, when you're born a child and a your child, they will dip the child in the water. <laughs> and the water will not sink. I don't know, maybe it's a taboo. I don't know, maybe it's um, a, like a folklore. But we read stories about that. Now, such kids do not, be, do not, have, do not have fear for water. So once they're fear for water, as a young child, if they are trained in this kind of, of a sport, it should be like just going there to play, to be like fun. The technicalities? Uh, they will right. get it. Yeah. They will get it. That's when that's the coach federation coaching, coaching yeah. comes in. Hmm. That's when the expertise comes in. I wouldn't like to you. It would be very okay for us if we can get experts from abroad to come and train our kids right there in Nigeria and we get the result. Let me tell you, sport is an investment. You don't reap it immediately. It takes time. Mm. When you invest in your youth, it, it, it won't take them away from the states only. It will take them away from life of crime and to give you global acclaim. U.S. has been there for long. We know them as the powers of sports. China, Germany, Britain, we mm. can join them. I know. We can join them. It's a lot of Not work. Not only concentrating on football, yeah. table tennis, Take basketball. Take football. Let's, Take it off. Let's, let's concentrate mm. on other sports that can fetch us medals at the Olympics. That's why we can flex our muscle 
as a superpower. That's right. As an African power. Then we can not, be called a not, 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 not calling ourselves down of Africa for fun. Mm, I totally agree with you. So we're getting ready for uh, the National Youth Games. Toby told you it will take place in Ilorin, Kwara State. About 14 states have indicated interest to compete at the games scheduled to hold between September the 24th and run till the 30th of this month you see i keep tennis and action packs all the sports so that's it table tennis and canoe just gone by let's play some rugby now i know you say it's a rough sport no it's not it's a gentleman sport the nigerian rugby football federation they are busy as we speak the team they have landed in nairobi for the rugby sevens is the 2016 africa rugby sevens tournament is taking place in nairobi 12 players Three officials from Nigeria landed in Nairobi. They will play Kenya and Senegal on Friday. For me, Toby, we don't get to talk much about this sort of sport. This sport puts Kenwin and Ruin that we just discussed right there. And of course, cricket and the likes that are not so big. When you have a chance to talk about rugby in Nigeria, it's a good opportunity, particularly for the Black Stallions, to assess themselves and see ways they can improve. Yeah, yeah, really. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, a lot of platform about rugby in Nigeria, but, you know, we doesn't make it big. Yes, I agree to some extent, football is the king of our sport, but, you know, if you really wanted to compete uh, at, at the X level, you need to partake and be strong also in other sports. Sport. You know? Yes, when you do well in football, mm. even though we are not doing well. <laughs> but you, 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 also, <laughs> you, you, you need to develop you know, mm. uh, other sports. And for the fact that you know, this, most of this sport exists in Nigeria, we need to do a lot of things. We have the federation. Yeah. All we need to do like get the coaching done, mm. you know, get the facility available, That's and get the right. athletes you know, engaged into this. Like you said, you know, this is have to assess mm. themselves. And mm. they, we've got a chance to, to compete. Look at what South Africa has achieved, achieved in rugby. Right. We can also, you can also get along with it. We mm. can also be part of it. But like you said, you don't, you don't invest into sports that you want to repeat it in 12 months. It might take you years, you know, it's decades. But thing. we'll get there. But we need to start it. You know, getting it right from the basic. Then we we'll try and compete at the X level. Allowally, we've started. We're talking about rugby now. We don't get to talk about it much, but we said something about taking the pressure off from football. See, South Africa, they don't care they're not doing well in football. Yep. The Springboks are respected worldwide. Oh, they're also good with cricket. We see what they're doing in athletics, swimming, even tennis. Kevin Anderson yes. is playing at a Grand Slam. So you see, they're doing so much to develop their sport. We should start doing the same thing. Thank you very much. The difference between South Africa and Nigeria is that they put so much effort in providing facilities for almost, almost all major sporting events hmm. you, can, you can name off. Now, as Rob rightly said, rugby, if we invest in such sports, it is a tool of integration. Hmm. Now, let me take you back to what happened in 1994 when South Africa won the Rugby World Cup. That's right. Now, the blacks in South Africa, hmm. they saw rugby, the, the, the springboard, as a team of oppression. Hmm. They saw it as a symbol of apathy. Now, when Mandela came in as a mm. president, it also is an, as an opportunity to integrate the country. The black cabinet members were telling him, don't go there. Don't go there to present a trophy to the Springboks mm. because that was a symbol of apartheid. He said, no, this is the right time to integrate the country. That's right. Mandela wore the Springbok jersey. Mm. Now was one that carried a lot, the trophy, and gave it to the captain. Since that day, the blacks in South Africa saw rugby as a sport they can get involved in. Mm. We, can, we can see it as a tool of integration. The Bukwara problem, the Fulani Espen problem, get some of them there, yeah. take them to their best sports, we will integrate ourselves, all the social problems, we can reduce it with sport. I agree. And again, as Tom Riley said, as a sportsman, mm. that is another sure way to stardom and world life. Mm. It could be Byron of this world, Lebron James of this world, who's in both of this world. They were entering into presidential palaces and paradise and another person can mm. enter. I That's totally, what sports can do. I totally agree with you. That's the power of sports right there. We'll go on a quick break. Now, when we come back, we'll take a look at what's went down in Nigeria Professional Football League and women's football. Don't go anywhere. Stay.